Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to another full body 20 minute at home workout. No equipment necessary, shoes are optional and our exercise mat will be linked below in the description. So let's get right into it. We're gonna have 13 moves, we're gonna cycle through two rounds, so that'll be a total of 26 movements, 45 seconds on, 15 second breaks. They are gonna stay moving along at a pretty quick rate, but that's because we wanna really focus on burning those calories, bumping up that heart rate, and getting sweaty. So if you guys are ready, what I want you to focus on today is getting fueled, getting hydrated, and being super explosive in all of these movements. They're gonna be super dynamic, using the whole body, and we're really gonna push and explode out of those movements. I'll be coaching and walking you guys through the moves, through some form and techniques, so let's get right into it. All right, you guys, we're gonna start out with a cardio warm-up. Follow me. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Swooping down, coming up, focusing again on being explosive, even in our cardio warm up here. Really punching, snapping back. All right, let's take it overhead. Throughout this entire workout, Remember, inhale, exhale, focus on that breath, keeping that core nice and tight and engaged. All right, coming down to the floor, we're gonna head right into tricep push-ups. You can be on your knees or on your feet. What's important here is to go down slowly. We're gonna go five seconds down, explode up. It may not look explosive, but it feels like it is. Trust me. Five, four, three, two, push. Five, four, three, two, push. Looking good, you guys, keep it up. What's important in tricep push-ups is to have those elbows grazing the rib cage throughout each and every downward movement. If you really focus on that exhale when you're exploding up, that'll help. Whew, great job. We're gonna stay on the floor, flipping over to our core. Single leg lifts with a cross body punch. Let's bring those legs up. Here we go. Punching to the right, left, right. Trying your best. Keep those legs nice and straight. As little bend in the knee as possible. Toes are pointed. Flexing that core. It is going to protrude a little bit, but that's because those ab muscles are getting worked, they're fully flexed and engaged. This is gonna give us that sculpted six pack that we all covet. Great job. Come on up, our next move is going to be in the plank position. So jump it through. We're gonna do oblique dips. We're gonna go eight times, and then we're gonna do eight hip tucks. Three, two, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to the obliques. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to hip hip tucks. Even though these are very, very tiny movements, they are total butt kickers. You are gonna feel these. I'm feeling it right now. <laughs> Great job. All right, now coming on up, we're gonna do a little cardio burst here. Another time where we can focus on being explosive, we're gonna do high knees. 
here we go. Pumping those arms, bringing those knees up. They should come at least up to the level of your hips, if not a little bit higher. It's important to explode here. And we don't want to lean back too much. We want to stay pretty straight up here. Stay on those toes. Those heels shouldn't even be touching the ground here. We're elevating that heart rate to really amp up the rest of this workout. Nice job. All right, next up, we're gonna do a lunge and squat combination. Catch your breath here. Here we go, lunging back with the right leg, coming wide into a squat. Left leg, squat. Right leg, squat. Now let's focus on staying nice and low here. That knee should almost be touching the ground when you lunge back. That time mine did. <laughs> This is gonna get into that huge muscle group here in our quads and in our glutes as well. Great job. Next up, we're gonna do a sumo walk, four steps backwards with an explosive jump forwards. Whew. It's getting hot in here. Here we go, we're gonna go four, Three, two, one, explode forward. Four, three, two, one, same thing. See how far forward you can jump. Next round through, we're gonna see how high we can jump. But for this round, it's all about distance. Jump. Are you guys feeling it? This is insane. Nice job. Next up, wide stance with those legs again, toes facing outwards. We're gonna come down into a plie stance. Starting lifting that right heel, we're gonna do eight pulses. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, left heel up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more time, switching sides, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, both heels up. This requires quite a bit of balance, stability. It's only gonna give you more strength. Let's pulse it. Great job. Next up, we are going to do forearm plank with jumping up into a burpee. Catch your breath here. So we're gonna come down, forearm plank, back up. Wide jump into a burpee, back down. Each time you come down into this forearm plank, start with the opposite forearm that you did the last time. Core super tight. Remember, we're focusing on being explosive. Even though I've got a ceiling up there. I'm still exploding into that jump. Great job. All right, you guys. Now we're gonna come down to the tabletop, working that side booty. This is kinda gonna look like a dog 
So we're picturing a dog like Bo going to the bathroom on a fire hydrant. <laughs> Four, five, six, we're gonna do 12, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Come down, other side, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, core is tight, six, five, four, three, two, one, slight break here. Next up, we are gonna stay on our mat. We're gonna come down into a Superman shoulder press. So on our stomachs, when the break is up, all right, we're lifting our legs, lifting our arms. If you can, make sure that your knees are not touching the mat. We're gonna pull down into that shoulder press motion. Really squeezing as hard as you can when you get to the bottom of that press. Really feeling it in all of those back muscles. This is gonna get rid of any of that bra fat. This is really gonna sculpt. A lot of times we really forget about working our backside. When we focus on core, we have to remember balance is super important. If you want a strong six pack, you've gotta work that back. Exhale. Great job. Next up, flipping it onto our core, staying on the mat here. What we're gonna do here, bring our legs up, and we're gonna do core scissors down and back up. Toes pointed when you get to the top. Five pulses. Four, three, two, one. Back to that scissor. Toes pointed. Knees are straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down. These tiny moves, again, they really get into that lower abdomen where we all could use more strength. Great job. We're gonna stay on the floor. We're gonna cross our legs and explode up into a jump. Cross the other way, roll back down. Here we go. Squat, cross, roll back down. Explode up, squat, cross, back down. These are difficult. You really gotta have that momentum, momentum, being explosive through those moves. The more you can propel through that roll, the more easily you can come up to standing. Momentum will always take us far. Great job. 13 moves, round one is done. We're gonna go back into that cardio warm up with those punches. Whew. I don't know if I can keep up with you guys for this round. Wide leg, legs wide. Here we go. Punching it out, really snapping back with those fists. All right, let's take it overhead. Come back down with those punches. Really get low. Great job. Down to the mat. Heading back into those five second tricep push ups with that explosive upward motion. Here 
Here we go. Five, four, three, two, explode. Five, four, three, two. Remember, elbows right next to the rib cage. Core is tight here. Exhaling on that upward explosion. Keep at it, guys. Woo. Ah, saved by the belt. <laughs> Looking onto our stomach, or sorry, onto our backs here. We're gonna go back into those scissors with the legs. Alternate leg lifts. Punching across, so we're gonna start right, left, right, left. Focus on pointing the toes, keeping those legs nice and straight. This is all about progress, not perfection. If you need to take a break, take a break. But remember, don't be too easy on yourself either. What we're looking at here is challenging the body Challenging our muscles, our hearts, our minds, all of it, so that we can grow. Without res resistance, there is no strength. <sighs> Great job. All right, so we're coming back into that plank with those oblique dips and eight hip tucks in the center. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come center. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to those dips. Five, six, seven, eight. Back to the hip tucks. Really working those deep intri intrinsic core muscles. Two, one, hip dips. Great job. Whew, that's an upper body workout too. Anything in plank is basically full body. We're gonna come on up to another cardio burst here, being explosive in those high knees. Here we go. Remember, pump those arms, bring those knees up, hip level or higher. Those heels are off the floor. This is all in the balls of our feet, in the toes. I'll stop talking so I can save my breath. <laughs> Keep it up, we've got 10 seconds here. Try not to lean back. Great job. All right, we're gonna go back into that lunge squat combination. Right leg going back first. Here we go. Lunging back, squatting. Lunging other side, squatting. Making sure that that knee, sorry, doesn't hyperextend over the toes is gonna help protect your joints. So if you're feeling pain here, if you're feeling breathless, that's a good sign. As long as it's muscular pain. If you're feeling joint pain, you may want to ease up a little bit. But muscle pain, is good. That means growth. Great job. All right. Next up, we're going to do those sumo steps for back. We're going to focus on jumping upward, but still moving forward. Come down to squat. 
Here we go. Four, three, two, jump up. Explosive. These dynamic movements with that explosivity added in there. Again, torching calories, toning up, breaking a sweat. The best thing is this kind of physical activity releases endorphins. So these are gonna help us to feel amazing. If you've ever heard of runner's high, same thing right here. You don't have to be running to get that rush after you're done. Great job. Staying in that wide stance, coming down into the plie. We're gonna pick up that left heel first this time, then the right. All right, bring it down, arms are out. Lift that left heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going, nine, 10, 11. Last one, 12, switch sides. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna alternate left and right left and right. Great job. Keep it up, you guys. Small, precise pulses here. You don't want to come up too high on that upward motion. Let's sink it just a little bit lower. Whew. Saved by the bell again. <laughs> All right, forearm planks up into a burpee. Here we go, roll it out. Let's come on down. Forearm down, back up, jump, jump again. Again, switching which forearm you come down to first each time. Balance is super important. Core is tight. Check back in. Are you being explosive? Right here. This is it. We are so close. I can see the light. Great job. We're gonna stay down here. We're in that tabletop again. See what I did here? I made this nice and streamlined. We've got a lot of core. Things on the floor all together. Left leg lift. Four, we're going for 12, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, other side, 12. So even though these are slower movements, we are still exploding upwards. All right, keep at it. You should be feeling it right now, probably in both of, the, of your side booties. Great job. All right, you guys. I'm tired too, we've got just a little bit left. Let's get on into Superman, staying on the floor. Again, I tried to design this workout to be nice and streamlined from move to move. Let's lift those arms and legs, pulling it down. Back up, really squeezing, feeling all of those back muscles. Again, toning up the back is also going to help our core as a whole. When we only do crunches, we're only working one side. That creates imbalance, poor posture, and ultimately isn't gonna give us the body that we really want. So doing this, trust me, when you wake up tomorrow, you're gonna remember this move. <laughs> Comment below if you do, because I definitely did. Nice job. All right, we're gonna come back to the back. Those scissors up and down with the legs. 
All right, point those toes, straight legs, coming up. Five pulses, five, four, three, two, back down. Nice, small, precise movements again. Four, three, two, one. I don't know what it is, but sometimes the tiniest moves are the most painful. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, back down. Great job. Bring those knees to the chest. One last move. This is that super explosive one, crossing the legs, shooting it up. Squat, cross the other way, back down. Remembering it's all about that momentum here. That's gonna propel you forward in this workout, in your life. Nice job. This is it, you guys. 15 seconds left. Be explosive, be dynamic. This is it. Five seconds. One last one. Woo. Great job. You guys killed it. Be sure to refuel, rehydrate, and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this type of workout video. So typically at home, I'll do something like this, 20 to 25 minutes of an intense workout full body using nothing but my body and then I will follow it up with either weightlifting, hill sprints or a nice recovery jog. So if any of those pique your interest, go get some more sweat in and check out our other links below to our other workout videos. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys.